A glimpse to the life of a postgraduate student, which is quite chaotic and messy. Oh, it's been a very long day for me. So after class, I spend hours um, planning the project that I have to hand in next week which is going to be an archival material exhibition I have enrolled a course that is about the adventure of the archives in which we're going to make use of the archival material and try to plan an exhibition of our own I've been um, trying to collect photos and newspaper cuts or any sort of materials that I have and use a 3D space to create an exhibition. So these are the maps that I've created. I'm thinking about how to make it work but basically that's my project it's about. It's a bit weird angle isn't it? So today is Friday. I'm gonna have a class at 3 o'clock today and after that i will be having a girls dinner date with my friend natalie so we're gonna cook i'm gonna go to her place with some wine and ben and jerry and we're gonna make like a nice dinner we're gonna cook some pasta and just have a really cute girls night and i'm so excited about that and i will bring you guys along My laptop, I'm gonna put you here. Sunday and I'm currently working on some editing and also working on the assignment of my projects. Um, this semester I wrote a course called Placement in Context, uh, which we're assigned with um, different institutions or even organizations and we're gonna work for a project with them. So I am going to work with the university libraries and galleries and our team um, is responsible for generating content for International Museum Day, which is on the May. I think it's like, I forgot, 15th of May, 13th of May, it's, oh, I, should, I should know that. And so we're gonna create some social media content for them, so now I'm editing the video. This week we went to the galleries at the university and shoot some contents for them. So we interviewed with the creators and did some gallery photo shooting as well. So now I'm editing the questions um, and also interviews and hopefully we can finish it today. Also I needed to finish my archive project as well that I mentioned. So now I already have the materials. I have all the images and also newspapers and also photographers 
and also photos so I just need them I just need to put them together and make sure they look nicely and probably draft like a reflective portfolio regarding on the creation of the archive project so that's what I need to do so we got two deadlines next three deadlines next week we got the video set lined and also the archive project and the reflective portfolio deadlines and also a draft proposal deadline as well so that's what we're gonna do for today <laughs> hopefully if i finish everything i can have some free time i believe we still have time now it's only like 3 p.m um i already finished one video so just one more to go and then the archive project so hopefully it's gonna be fun We manage, not we. You aren't part of this. I managed to finish the archive project finally. I spent four hours making that project. And I'm so exhausted right now. I still haven't finished the reflective portfolio, but at least I finished the exhibition. <sighs> so I'm gonna get some rest, read a bit, um, pass out. I want to sleep like her tonight. Currently reading The Lonely Heart Broke Cup. It has been really good. I enjoy it a lot. It's really cozy. The start of writing an essay is always the hardest Usually I just stare at the blank paper. I just don't know where to start But luckily I made a draft and I just list out all the point formed all the references that I wanted to use so We're gonna work on the rest of the essay for today which shouldn't be that hard because I've already made an outline um, of everything so now we just need to put everything together and organize it at, uh, at the references and pretty much that's it so hopefully I can finish it within an hour and then we're gonna work on my Japanese because I need to finish some Japanese assignments. I've been self-learning Japanese every day or every other day, it depends, because I'm still revising my German as well. I keep, I still keep learning and try to speak, write and read German. So I would do it a tentative day. So yesterday I finished my German, so today I'm gonna work on my Japanese. I've managed to finish the entire assignment so glad that I finished it and now I'm just um that's the situation we're here got my matcha the sun is actually setting down so So I have back from Liverpool to Leeds. I spent a night at my friend's place. I went to find her because we haven't seen each other for quite some months. So uh, it was really nice. We didn't do a lot of things. Simply just cook our meals. We make some desserts and make our dinner, breakfast. So it was really... Um, cozy and chill day with her which is really nice um 
you know, when you are so close with each other, you don't really need to do a lot of fancy stuff, but you still felt really comfortable around with each other. So today we have a meeting with the supervisor, so we kind of went through all the videos that we added for their social media. It turns out really good because they liked um, our videos so much. Pretty much that said, I've already um, entered a holiday mood because Easter holiday is coming. I had a really long holiday and just try to get some rest during the um, Easter holiday because I have been so busy working with the assignments at different projects and it's kind of exhausted and I also have to plan for my dissertation as well so that will be a good time for me to take a break and also try to work on some of the assignment and dissertation because there are so many of them. So for, ten, for tonight, I'm gonna finish this one. I still have a tiny, tiny little bit left. So I think I'm, I'll be able to finish this one and then sleep. Good morning. We're gonna... Go make some breakfast because we're gonna do CrossFit later. I've got a bagel toast. my crossfit i went back home i just cooked my lunch watched some movie make my nails <laughs> i did finished some german um, studies and also uh, essay proposal but other than that i didn't really do a lot of things <laughs> but well i guess i'm just gonna read some books and call it a day that's how I read a little life. Oh, a little life. A bit intimidating. Like, look how thick it is. And the words are like so. It's all over the pages. I just search. But I heard so much about it. So many people recommend it to me. And I'm gonna start reading it. Honestly, it's so thick. It's like, I don't think I can digest it. It's bigger than my mouth. Mm -hmm. 